Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, welcome back. I hope you've all had a lovely, lovely Christmas. And um, I'm here with the December Daily, I'm a couple of days behind but it's no dramas, got to catch that up. But before I do that, I meant to show you this on Christmas Eve, but I didn't end up filming Christmas Eve as you know, because <laughs> me and Al, um, telling you. And um, yeah, I was just way too busy baking, sorting things out, getting prepared for Christmas Day. But this, I made a new kit, right, called Mademoiselle, and it's ladies, um, some images from France and things, some French love quotes, which I wrote down the translation on a bit of paper, <laughs> and in the festive chaos, I don't know where I've put that bit of paper, because I moved all my stuff out of where I saw it and that, um, to put Christmas bits up and everything. So, um, I can't tell you what these say today, but this was my Christmas present to you. This page of journaling cards and a couple of tags, and then this background page that goes with my kit, and this background page. The kit is pinks and greys, um, lots of shades of pink this is quite a bright pink but we've got really subtle pinks and we've got quite a dark deep pink as well so here we are we've got various different ladies um that's the arc de triomphe little um that's a little address for the florists got some sheet music and some lovely hydrangeas We've got the Arc de Triomphe again, but without the ladies or, or that, just flowers. This nice double arch, and I've added some colour there with flowers. And what I've tried to do, I think I said this the other day when I was doing, um, I gave you a little sneak peek. I've used black and white images, all the ladies are black and white images, but I've added little bouquets, they're holding different bouquets of flowers in colour, so that's that one. Um, perfumery, for, which is what a perfume shop's called, a couple of bottles of nice perfume, and again we've got a lady with a colour um, bouquet. Um, we've got another lady advertising a perfume shop and a couple of bottles. We've got the arch again, there's some writing in the background and that, that I don't know whether it picks up on camera, but it's like script going through some of the pages. She's holding one of these lovely flowers that are down here, she's holding one of them. And then we've got the Eiffel Tower more flora and this lady and then I did this like a mirror image on like aged paper a different shade of pink again more sheet music and flowers we've got the script you can see it more on this one I've done it a bit darker a little postcard down here and the perfume bottles we've got a little um tin there, little soap tin, and a bird in a cage, and then we've got these two lovely ladies, and this is the real dark, dark pink, and it's quite grungy, it's aged all around, and that, and like different watered marks of ageing, and then we've got a French saying there, um, a herbis, I'm not going to say it, a herbal shop, um, lay front label thing um a little card down here and of course the flowers and then we've got it's that address for the florists but it's made all big and i've got some perfume bottles and yeah flowers we've got another saying about love oh i really i've got to find that um the piece of paper because otherwise i'm going to have to go into translator and translate them all <laughs> we've got another image of the eiffel tower with some flowers and a lady holding a bouquet 
another page of sheet mucus music with different flowers and we've got the bird cage again and the lovely big flowers and you can just see the sheet music really faded in the background on that pink so that is 18 pages of um, full pages and then there's four pages of elements we've got these lovely tags with a couple of tickets there um, we've got these, the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower with nice floral all around and on this postcard we've got the arches there and flowers, she's holding a bouquet and we've got the Eiffel Tower there and then on the postcard it says can't post out, post out rather, I found a little French vintage stamp and then I found a French postmark and so I've overlaid them so that it does look real when you print it out and that and we've got some lovely little flowers in the background there just faint so that they can be written over and then we've got an envelope and there's the Arc de Triomphe very very faint on the front with some fat flowers and they're faint so that it can be written on and again I've put the same stamp and postmark um, we've got a couple of pockets and this big tag and then I did another postcard with the perfume bottles in the middle um, the little ladies and this back has got the little flowers down here that feature in front of the perfume bottles and we've got the Eiffel Tower there and a couple of tags so it's 18 pages and four pages of elements so that's 22 pages and then if you go over to my um, coffee blog and you download um, these three pages you've got a 25 page kit 24 background pages and an extra page of elements so Merry Christmas you don't have to buy the kit if you don't want to you can just go over and have these three pages if that's what you want because as it says on here it's my gift for you for Christmas and for a happy new year um, so yeah you ain't got to buy nothing you can just go over there go to my freebie folder which is um, on my um, blog and in the gallery there's the freebie folder and all the kits I make, well most of the kits I make um, do have a freebie page, at least one page that corresponds and because it's been Christmas I did a couple for the Christmas kit and then this is my kit to launch into 2021 so I did three pages because of that but um, yeah that's that and um, if you're interested, I will be launching another kit in the next few days because you might have seen as I was turning over the pages, there's all these different pink pages um, and that kit is ready to go and it's all different ways I've dyed papers um, and got different results and that and there's... Um, yeah all different and then we've got like some lined paper oh I'm getting this all in a pickle um, sheet music but without the um, any music on it just the um, staves staffs staves I'm sure yeah you know just the lines um, with, I've got some real sheet music that's pink and all um, and yeah I think there's some graph paper in there and that that kit will be coming out in the next couple of days I just need to get round to um, listing it <laughs> and watermarking it and that you know to list so yeah that's coming soon so look out for that well I'll obviously show you it in the next few days when I'm ready right so Christmas Eve was quite a mad rushy day I was really busy didn't have a lot to do um my brother sent me this 
it um, is the Weedy Bin. <laughs> Merry Christmas 2020. The year your bin went out more than you did. So I'm going to have that in there. Um, and because I was baking and everything, I was thinking I want to use a bit of baking paper somewhere. Um, I might make a ruffle out of it. Could do that, couldn't we? Um, if I cut it a couple strips of baking paper. Right, let's see. If right, I line it up like that. that through oops and do that again line it up there right. oh sorry for the squeak so it's about an inch thick um, I'll just use these two and um right let me grab the ink and so yeah for that I'm not going to do it all now, but I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. So this is going to be Christmas Eve, and yeah, I'm going to make a ruffle out of them. I don't think I'm going to do that right now, because I'm just going to do today's. Otherwise, this video will end up 50 years long um, for me to catch up. I've got some pictures that I took on Christmas Day of my grandchildren. I'm not going to show them right now because um, I haven't asked um, my daughter's permission to um, show them. They're her kids, not mine, obviously. So um, I'll be putting them in for the Christmas Day bit, which I kept as the middle of the book. Right. So that'll be then. Yesterday, I was, um, what was I doing? Yeah, not a lot, just still playing with the kids' toys and whatnot. I have got a couple um, of bits I'm going to write. I was just a bit um, tired. I didn't do a great deal. I was thinking I might even use pictures from last Boxing Day and that of my grandchildren on this page. So here we are today, it's the 27th, it's quite late at night because um, I slept in and so, and I've had an afternoon nap. So I've got a picture of me looking thoroughly exhausted <laughs> um, because that is the state of affairs, I am exhausted. But I thought, right, I've got stuff to do. I've I've got to get on. I don't want to just get up to Christmas Eve and then it's blank and I don't never finish it. Because yeah, I really had me art set on finishing it. So this is me um, about ten minutes ago, and as you can see, I'm exhausted. Um, but. It's still Christmas, we've still got the Christmas sweets and everything like that. So what I was thinking is just using up bits and bobs. Like I've got these bits here and that, all the Christmassy things. Um, and yeah, just doing maybe, I don't know, a bit of a collage, sticking a couple of things on. Giving myself a room to journal and that as well, but yeah, just using up what I've got. Right, so I found a couple of pieces left from the other day, um, from the 21st. Some of them are already inked or partly inked, like that one just needs a little bit there. And um, yeah, they was just right on top in the box with all the Christmas bits so I thought what I'll do is just position these um, around the edges of the photo of me knackered <laughs> up here and then I can journal a little bit down the bottom so right let's have a look how we're gonna do it. Oh 
Okay, maybe something like that. Let's see where I am. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, something like that. Right. Boom. Need a glue stick. And I need something to lean on. And loads of things I did put away. There we are. I've got something. Oh. Oh. There went the lid. I'm too knackered to bend down now. I'll have to pick it up in a bit. Right. I need the picture to have a rough guide. And. Yeah, so I really do hope you're all okay and that you had a nice lovely christmas it was different it was lovely like don't get me wrong um we had a lovely dinner we um loved seeing the kids all excited opening their presents um but yeah i normally spend it with all my kids and grandkids and my mum and yeah this is the first christmas in my whole life that i've not seen my mum you know so that was a little bit heartbreaking but and she could have come on christmas day because she lives on her own so we're her support bubble but um she was too afraid because of stupid people on the telly putting the fear of god into her which I thought was terrible the way they was like talking on TV you know um, some sh silly woman on the telly saying oh yeah if people get together this Christmas in the future will be known as the kill granny Christmas like you don't say that a couple of days before Christmas on day daytime TV when your main audience is the elderly you know i um i just thought that was terrible and it frightened my mum and she didn't come so yeah that was sad but we did have a nice christmas um and yeah I, it wasn't the same as it always is but we did what we did so yeah that's me today i'm going to do a little bit of journaling down here Might Oh no, I've got a penguin there. I was thinking I might use my Scotty dog. I ain't used him yet. I might, I'll, I'll save him a, a different day. But yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of journey down here. Um, and yeah, I'll see you again tomorrow because I do want to finish this journal. So I'm going to go now and try and catch up a little bit with me bits and bobs that I need to do. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you're having a lovely festive season, sitting down, chilling out with the people that you love, eating too much, drinking too much, just having a lovely time. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Lovely loads. Bye.